Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. I want to welcome you to the Rotary Club of Gainesville. Today is Tuesday, June 7th. We're so glad to have everybody here. Um, as always, guests and visiting Rotarians, if you are watching us virtually on Zoom, we do ask you to identify yourself in the chat. And if you're watching on YouTube, please register your participation by sending an email to info at rotarygainesville.org. At this time, I see Pete is waiting. Are you gonna do our song and pledge for him? Okay, come on over. Well, I have a, a, a brief story and then an observation and some advice. So I dropped a, an ice cube on the floor and uh, it rolled under the fridge, but I didn't worry about it because I just figured it was water under the fridge. A word of advice, word of advice. If you're invited to a wedding and they want you to RSVP, do not respond, I'll catch the next one. We're going to join in pledge of allegiance. Wait a minute, we're going to sing first. Oh, sorry. My country, tis of thee, sweet land of liberty, of thee I sing. Land of my fathers died, land of the pilgrim's pride. Now join me in pledging allegiance to our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Right, at this time, I think we have Kevin Thorpe on Zoom. Kevin? provided. Thank you for this phenomenal club, the great work that we do, not only across the country, but right here in our community. We pray in advance for every young person and their families who will be represented today. Continue to bless doing what we say for your sake and for your glory. Amen. Amen. Thank you. You may be seated. At this time, if we have any visiting Rotarians or Rotarians with guests. Uh, then those would remain seating, please. Jason has the mic. Good afternoon, Brendan. There we go. Good afternoon, Brendan, and I have with me Betsy Riley. She represents a software company that designs software for medical researchers, and she's the only representative in all of Florida, so, and she's based in Gainesville, so please welcome Betsy. Oh, welcome, Betsy. Good afternoon, fellow Rotarians and guests. I have Jeff Quigley with me today. Jeff is a realtor at Inman Parish Caldwell Banker. And I can tell you, he's somebody that follows through on everything he tells you he's going to do. He's just a, a fantastic at that stuff. Uh, Jeff is also chairman of the board for the Child Advocacy Center, a 2022 recipient of Wild Game Feast funds. Please welcome Jeff. Welcome, Jeff. All right, we have anyone else? Okay, at this time, as our Rotary tradition continues, we have, um, we're gonna celebrate Rotarians with birthdays. So if you're here with us, uh, bring up your dollar, and if not, then we'll do an IOU. Um, we also had birthday cake today. I hope y'all enjoyed it. It's almost completely gone. There's a little, a little piece left. Um, you wanna come sing? Okay, come on. Melanie will extend credit to anybody that doesn't have their dollar with so. All right. Happy birthday. A round of a round of a rousing happy birthday. Ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, fellow Rotarians. Happy birthday to you. And to and in yeah, yeah right. To, to uh bless Charlie with uh memory and many more thank you. thank you thank you pete what will we do without him okay so these rotarians are uh troy adams roger brill joe coffin 
uh, Mary Crane, Don Davis, Cornelia Holbrook, Helen Kornblum, uh, Janice Legler, Stephanie Lobo, Annie Orlando, Bob Page, Eric Parker, Michael Pellet, and JT Thomas. So happy birthday to all Rotarians. We've got some slow pays here. It's, it's all good, it's all good. Okay, there actually are not any special announcements or craft talks, so yes, we do. Deborah, okay. Okay, this is uh, with, it's also going to be two pronged. Um, craft talks. If you are a new member and you have not scheduled your craft talk, see myself or John. John, raise your hand, or Tim or Helen. Okay, we'll give you four opportunities to get scheduled. We want to know more about you as soon as possible so that our membership broadly can help get you plugged in and invited to the socials and, and activities that are appropriate for you. So thank you. Second is that on each table, there is a flyer about a study that's going on at the University of Houston on cardiovascular health. I'm not the PI, I'm not even a participant, but someone I know is, and it could be very, very helpful to probably to some of you or maybe someone that you know. So you could either take the flyer or take a picture of it and share the information. They are looking for more participants in the study. So, thank you. Okay, so without further ado, I am going to turn the program over to our president, David Gracie. Good afternoon, fellow Rotarians and guests. It is great to see everyone today. And um, I'd, I'd like to begin by thanking uh, Kevin Thorpe. I was, I was glad when, when you came over on Zoom there. I was worried for a second, but I'm, I'm glad you were there. And I thank you for that invocation. Uh, thank you. Where is Pete? Pete, thank you for the song and, uh, and for the jokes, I guess. And Melanie, thank you for welcoming everyone as you do every week so well and, and for, for the birthday party today. Thank you for that. Um, last Thursday, I, I was at the, the UF Hilton for the 30th annual uh, Women who Make a Difference Award, Gainesville Women Who Make a Difference Awards ceremony. And I, I got to see, um, boy, we were well represented there, probably 12 of us in a, in a crowd of maybe 250 to 300 indoors, which was very refreshing to, to see that. Um, but the, the reason I bring this up is that this is, this is a, a very distinguished uh, award, um, accolade, let, let's call it, that's given out to women in the Gainesville area by the uh, Girl Scouts Gateway Council. And um, it's something that's, that's given for women who exhibit courage, uh, confidence, and character in the way they conduct themselves in helping to make the world a better place. So it's, it's kind of a big deal. And we, we have um, a number of recipients of this award who are, who are members of our club. Uh, Melanie Shore is a past recipient. Susan Crowley is a past recipient, uh, Nancy Hart, and um, uh, recently departed Vam York. Uh, but um, so each year of, of the past 30 years, again, this has been going on a long time, um, three or four ladies are recognized. But this year, there was, there was an exceptional recognition, and that was for the Lifetime Achievement Award. And Miss Anne Marie Rogers was recognized as that individual. And I, I wish she was here today, but let's give her an, an applause anyway. And it was, it was really neat. She's a wonderful lady, as we all know. Um, I, I think everyone's aware of this if, if you pay attention to your, your, the inundation of emails that I know we all get from the Rotary District and the zone. Um, but but if, if you look at any of those and, and just by you know the several of us who've been speaking up here recently talking about the 
Rotary International Convention that is going on in Houston right now. I unfortunately had, had a family commitment that required my presence here in Gainesville, so I, I am unable to attend. However, we are well represented there by President-elect Greg Young, uh, Richard Allen, and Jacob Atem. And, you know, we, we, we love those three individuals as Rotarians, but um, I think we all know Jacob as an especially colorful guy and just um, engaging in his personality. And um, I, I, got a, I got an email from Richard um, uh, last night, I think it was, and it was, a, it was a photo of Jacob with Rotary International President Shaker Mehta and his wife. And that, that's our guy. He's, he's up there with the president of Rotary International. That's, that's awesome for Jacob. So anyway, just thought you guys would, would appreciate that. We've got, um, we've got a kind of a special traditional program today. And, um, you know, it, it, it's one that um, uh, certainly a tradition. This has been going on a long time. And, and I welcome the, uh, the local middle school students and your, your parents or teachers, whomever is here with you guys. Um, I'll, I'll tell you that um, our, our chairperson for this committee, Ms. Helen Kornbloom, has done a wonderful job. If, if, if you all know Helen at all, she's, she's very, um, very dedicated to any task she's given. She's, she's so dependable. Uh, she's very intentional. And she's certainly naturally organized. I'm going to ask Helen to come up and, and bring our program to us today. Please welcome Helen. Okay, well, um, as David mentioned, this is a program that we've had many times before. We had to skip in 2020 because of the pandemic, and uh, no, 21 was the year that we skipped. But I promised we'd come roaring back with full energy, and here we are. This is, in a way, this program is, in a way, the a third of the educational trifecta that we run, because a few weeks ago, we had the high school students who participated in the speech contest with a the theme of changing lives. Um, a few weeks ago, we also had middle school students, science fair winners, who, for the most part, spoke over our heads, but we enjoyed them completely anyway. And today, we probably have the group of students who are most aligned with our motto, which is service above self. And you're going to hear about these students, and I hope from these students, um, I, I'll give a heads up to you students that we're gonna ask you some questions such as what made you chose the service activity that you did? Um, what did you learn about yourself while doing it? Which activity do you think about continuing in high school? And whatever other creative instinct occurs to our presenters as we go along. Um, this committee is labor intensive. So I just wanna give a shout out to Mary Crane Marie Collins, uh, Maggie Combs, Charity Hall, um, John Graham, I'm trying to go in alphabetical order, it's um, TJ Pache and Tim Williams. So let's get started. And our first one up is um, TJ. You're going to honor Max from Bishop Middle School. And I'm told that if we do it at the students' tables, that it won't be visible on Zoom, so we're all going to be using the uh, lectern here. Come on up, Max. Hi, everybody. Our club is proud to confer Max Nicotin uh, with Rotary Service Above Self Award. Max exemplifies the selflessness, awareness, and dedication that distinguishes all Rotary recipients. Whether thriving in the classroom, inspiring his peers, or showing maturity in his interactions with teachers and, and administrators, it's clear to all uh, what, an, what a positive impact he has on the Howard Bishop community. Max has participated in math club, competing at the state level, as well as building robots from scratch in robotics. Max academic, academic achievements are coupled with an admirable depth of character, 
Those who know Max can say without hesitation how thankful they are for the transformative impact he has had on the community. We know that in his future pursuits, he will energize and inspire those around him through outstanding leadership. All right, Max. So of all of your service-related activities, what were some of your favorites? Um, I really enjoyed uh, being part of... Oh, sorry. Um, I really enjoyed being part of Math Counts. Uh, it was very fun to uh, um, do some extracurricular activity after school and solve some difficult math problems. Uh, it was overall really fun to do that with my friends. Let's give Max a round of applause. All right, um, this year's recipient for Hawthorne Middle School is Holly Carroll, and this is what her teachers had to say about her. Holly is a model student in and outside the classroom while staying committed to her high level of success in academics. She understands the importance of helping her community and acts on her convictions. She's been a member of Team Trendsetters, a group that volunteers twice a week to read or mentor students at Shell Elementary School. She also volunteers regularly with the Future Farmers of America chapter, a children's group at her church and on school cleanup days. She's helped her teachers throughout the year. Her service comes with a smile and great empathy for others. She's modeled generous leadership and is well deserving of this year's award. Holly, can you tell us a little bit about one of your service activities? One of my favorite things that I have done like for the community and stuff is like FFA and just reaching out to others. The next student that uh, Tim is going to introduce is Krisha Jane. Hi, Krisha, thank you. Um, Krisha is the recipient from Lincoln Middle School. And her, uh, her fellows said that Krisha is a model student. She puts her best effort into her schoolwork and earns high grades, but that's not why she earned the Service Above Self Award. She goes above and beyond in all aspects of life. She's always quick to help a teacher or a friend. She's respected and admired by her peers. Krisha won the NASA Perseverance Award in 2022 and made it to the state championship for National History Day Fair. Moreover, she's donated countless hours beyond the community service requirements to raise money for the eighth grade Lyceum program. Her efforts were to make the middle school experience better for her peers with nothing in return. Her generosity is unmatched and something to be admired. Krisha's magnanimous and cheerful personality makes her an extraordinary leader. Krisha, what are your plans for next year? I think I may like fundraise again, like I did this year for like uh, East Side High School. So that's my plan for next year. John Graham will be substituting for Charity Hall, who apparently is out with a twisted ankle today, and he'll be presenting the award to Catherine Hagen. Catherine Hagen, come on down. Catherine's from... Catherine's from Kanapaha Middle School. And one of the things I really appreciate about this award is it's actually determined by the teachers who worked with the students all year. And, and the teachers actually write up the, uh, the information that we have for the students when we present it to them. So I think it's kind of neat that the teachers get to do that and, and really show some respect for some students who uh, have really done some outstanding work. So we're gonna talk about Catherine right now. So Catherine is a well-rounded student who is not solely defined by academics. She is studious, sociable, and empathetic. 
Catherine's witty and kind personality, coupled with her time management and, or and organizational skills, make her a valuable member of multiple clubs at Kanapaha Middle School. She was secretary of student government, a member of news crew, math counts, and hope squad. Catherine volunteers at Hale's Angel Pet Rescue and advocates for the rights of neglected animals. Outside of school, Catherine can be found helping at her church, horseback riding, taking self-defense classes, running or reading the next book of her favorite series. Catherine represents the values of the Service Above Self Award and the faculty is very proud of her. So Catherine, talk to us a little bit about some of the favorite things you did this last year. I loved being part of my school and helping kids around the school and enjoyed extracurricular activities, um, whether that be clubs or sports. Um, and I just enjoyed being part of that school. Thank you. Right. While you're up here, why don't you put that camera over there and tell us who that gentleman is that's with you today. That's my dad. Yeah. Hi, Dad. Thanks for being here. Thank you. And Maggie, I think you're on with Jackson Collins. This is Jackson Collins. And uh, when I met with his principal for the first time, and the principal had been asked to, uh, to select along with talking with the teachers and, and to write up something about their selection for the Service Above Self Award. He said, oh, that's no problem. And so I made an arrangement to go out and pick up what he had written. And what he said was what we would all hope would be said about us someday. There's never a need, there was never a time when someone needed help that Jackson wasn't the first to step up. It's just who he is. And that in itself I thought was quite remarkable. When I went to the, uh, the program in which they presented all of the awards to the eighth graders who are graduating from the middle school in Newberry, uh, <laughs> I kept hearing Jackson's name being called for this award and that award and, and so forth. He obviously was an excellent student, but I think most important to a lot of people in that room, to a lot of his friends who exploded when his name was finally announced was that he was so deserving of the Service Above Self Award. And thank you, Jackson. And I have one question for you. How are you going to continue this when you move into the big, bold world of Buholtz? <laughs> I'm definitely going to partake in a lot of other extracurricular activities, which include some of the sports I like and other like after school things like science team. Um, and I love student government in middle school, so I'm hoping to continue that throughout high school. Thank you. And I have the pleasure of being next, uh, welcoming Hunter Kittleson. Come on up. And as Maggie just said about Jackson, I have to tell you that when I announced Hunter's name at the Westwood, um, uh, it wasn't a graduation, it was uh, an, award an award ceremony. The room seemed to explode. Everybody seemed to know that it was going to be Hunter, except me. And I teased him before, and I said, he bounded up from that table. I thought he was going to go flying right over my head with excitement. But that crowd energy carried him. So I, I do want to read what the faculty um, wrote about him. Hunter Kittleson is an incredibly selfish young man. He has put in hundreds of hours on Westwood campus, participating in clubs and extracurricular extracurricular activities, 
with a focus on outreach and campus improvement. Hunter works tirelessly to make others comfortable and feel welcomed and successful. He has devoted weekends and evenings over the last three years to help when needed with theater and other activities. He's the president of the SGA Builders Club and has put in many hours there too. Hunter is a role model, and that's part of the de definition of this award, um, for everyone on campus of what you can achieve when you work together toward a common goal. Westwood's faculty agrees that no one is more deserving an award, of an award titled Service Above Self than Hunter. So Hunter, I wanna ask you to tell us about, there are a lot of things in here that are a little vague to me. I want you to be more specific about where some of those hundreds of hours went. Can you tell us? So I uh, was part of the Junior Thespians Club, which is an honor society, which is part of high school and middle school. And I worked on competition pieces for that club. And I also was in charge of the outreach program. So we hosted a couple events and they were actually pretty successful. I hosted a karaoke night and that was actually a lot of fun because you get to see a lot of talent that you normally wouldn't see. And that's also, that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> John made a good, good point before that these faculties are speaking to us and telling us about these students, and it's really wonderful to hear. And I suspect there are some future Rotarians in this group, especially fundraisers, membership chairs, name a few more. Um, so we encourage all of you to think about Rotary for your futures. And I want to mention that there were three other winners, recipients of this award who for whatever reason, could not be with us today. And the names include Elizabeth Liu from Fort Clark Middle School, Drew Cornell from High Springs Community School, and Ramsey Stanley from um, John? Where? De Mabane. <laughs> Thank you. Didn't have that in my notes. So this program would have run a little longer had we had three more students. OK. So thank you very much. Thank you, Helen. And uh, congratulations to, to each of you. you we, we just got a, a little kind of a summary snapshot of, of the, the, the person each of you is. And um, that's. You guys, j just like uh, Helen mentioned, I, I think you, you'd make great Rotarians one day. There's, there's a long way to go before that, but congratulations to each of you. And, and I've got, um, I, I've got a, a little, little award for each of you. If you just hop up here real quick. I'd, probably if I had been more organized like Helen is, I would have given this to each of your presenters. But come on up here, guys. I've got a coin for you. This, this is our, our Rotary theme for this year serve to change lives, which is something that uh, all of us are committed to. And again, um, congratulations to y'all. Uh, let's give them a round of applause, please, folks. Okay, and um, uh, kids, you guys can, can have a seat now, but um, I, I have another coin for today's presenter, and um, Helen, who has worked so hard on this, um, thank you, John and TJ and um, Maggie and Tim uh, for, for helping Helen with this. You guys did a wonderful job. This, again, this is an, an important annual uh, meeting annual award that we give. But um, uh, kids, th this, this coin is, is something we give to, to each speaker, which often is someone from outside of the club. And 
uh, we like it because it, it gives kind of a kind of a, a snapshot or it um, just it's a good rep representation of, of what Rotary is all about and, and the reason that we as Rotarians are, are members of this club. The, the front of it has our Rotary motto, which is service above self. I know each of you is familiar with that now. And on the back of it, it's our four way test, which uh, this kind of this it's a bit of a distinction from a Rotarian and maybe some other service organizations, or, or that at least that's something that I, I believe deeply in. This is our four-way test that guides us in our conduct as professionals and how we interact with each other as Rotarians and folks in the community locally, globally. Four-way test is something we, everything we think, say, or do, we run by this four-way test. We ask, is it the truth? Is it fair to all concerned? Will it build goodwill and better friendships? And will it be beneficial to all concerned? Helen, this is for you. Thank you for all your work. You're a wonderful Rotarian and a great member of this club. Okay, everybody, the last three digits for our 50-50 drawing are 610, 610. Thank you guys for being here today. See you next Tuesday. Have a great week.